Hey, what's going on everybody? It's about 12.30 and I'm down here at Kuda Beach. It's New Year's, not New Year's Eve, it's uh, Christmas Eve. I'm going to meet some friends that I went diving with yesterday for a little Christmas Eve dinner up their way. But for now, I'm going to jump in the surf. I'm here at the uh, free skate park right at the beach. I don't know if anybody's skating. I'm going to rent a surfboard. They're 50,000 Indonesian, which is uh, cheap. What is that? Less than $5 for an hour. I went out for two hours the day before yesterday, so I'll just tell the guy. If I'm still out there at the two-hour mark, well, I'll pay you when I come back. I'm not too worried about it. Don't, uh, if you're just a, a rookie surfer like me, don't worry about paying for all the expenses of uh, bringing a board over here. As you can see, there's hundreds of boards for rent, all different sizes. There's fast boards. There's not really big waves here, so this is more a long board place. And 99% uh, of these boards are eight and nine foot soft top long boards, which is fine. Here's my guy right here by the skate park. Nice guys, they watch my stuff. Uh, Boston is the name of their company. There's a young guy having fun. Yeah, if you're really into uh, your specific board and you want to come out here and surf the big reefs and all, yeah, haul it all the way over here. Otherwise, if you just want to have a little fun, you can make a good deal uh, with one of these guys to rent the... Oop, hit somebody's umbrella there. You can make a good deal to rent a board for... Hey, I'm gonna come every day, you know, but I'm not gonna really blow up all these guys when they're charging four bucks an hour. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Hey, you know, make a deal, give me three bucks an hour. In fact, I'm even silly enough to probably leave them a little tip. There's a little ball. Take a quick peek at the surf, which is not huge, but that's fine. There's a uh, certainly larger surf around Bali, but not here at Kuta Beach. And as you can see, there's just uh, dozens of surfboard rentals. They'll also loan you a rash guard. I brought a rash guard, but I haven't bothered getting it wet and nasty. Diving, surfing a couple of times, I've just borrowed the rash guards. I, I don't even know if I would bother uh, bringing it if you're packing super light. I'm on a Air Asia 7 kilogram carry-on only trip, so every... Uh, Every ounce counts to get your 15 pounds of gear over here. But it's surprising how little you really need. Just some essential toiletries and uh, I probably bought more clothes than I need. I, I Whatever I brought, five t-shirts and four pair of underwear. I just wash my underwear out every day so I don't even need four pair. People clean their clothes all over the world. It's not that big a deal. As you can see, just beginners having fun, which uh, after playing in the surf 20-something years, I'm still just a very, very amateur. And it's also really cheap to hire an instructor. Half these people are out there with instructors. Here's one here just rinsing the board. In fact, I think that's my guy. Half these folks are out here with instructors. Uh, I haven't hired one. Maybe I should but they're gonna come at a super affordable rate. And you can also rent the beach umbrellas. I haven't did that. I assume it's uh, fairly reasonable for kind of a go-to tropical destination. This Bali's actually pretty cheap. Beer's cheaper than it is in Bangkok. Maybe about the same price as say uh, Pattaya, but it's not that expensive at all. And unlike my uh, California beaches, you can have a you can have a beer here on the beach. I'm not sure. I haven't had too many beers. Yeah, I see bottles. I was going to say if it's uh, cans only, but just as long as you're responsible, which most adults are. I'm not sure why my beloved California has taken all your rights away at the beach. If it's uh, bringing your dog down, even on a leash, no can do. Having a little uh, sunset cocktail. Well, that's a problem. 
not so much uh, in other parts of the world. And there's a pretty nice wave. Even for a, a small break here at Cuda, you're still gonna get a little bit of surf or just play around in the uh, white water. Everybody's just having fun. But yeah, that's a good, good little wave, a little mushy, but good enough for me. You can go down the way. I don't have the other breaks memorized, but there are some world-class surf breaks here in Indonesia. You're gonna paddle out a little further and maybe be on top of a reef. But if you're looking for that world-class surf, you don't, uh, you don't need me to tell you it's here. All right, that's not quite enough uh, wave to get on your board, but he's having fun. And there's a couple students. This guy, I don't know who he's uh, filming, but I know that's in the uh, offerings. You want us to get out in the water with the GoPro and, and take some pictures of you and the family? It's all available. Hey, so that was a pretty good time. I ended up doing uh, a little under two hours. I'm beat. I <laughs> got a couple of bruises, board smacks. But that's okay, I had a good time and I just hung out and had a beer and ate some uh, some kind of noodles. He told me the name, I already forgot the name. It was uh, some noodles with an egg on top. I bought my two uh, surf instructor renters. I didn't use them as an instructor. He, d he did just head out with a couple of students. It was 200,000 Indonesian for one hour. Uh, and I think that was two boards and two students. So I'm not sure how it'd work for one person but again that's all peanuts and they'll get you out there and safely safely push into some white water you'll have some fun yeah good guys i like this bali a lot just hard hard working people and i'm going to come out tomorrow on uh, christmas morning he said come between 7 and 10 and i said yeah i'll be here at 10 <laughs> but it's starting to get windy it's about two two o'clock the noon Noon, the wind kicks up just like uh, most places in the world, and uh, the waves just get a little blown out. Not that I'm any kind of expert for waves. You can see that right there, whatever that is, a little two-and-a-half-foot wave. It's just kind of flopping over and making enough white water to play around in, and that's good enough for me right now, anyhow. He goes, oh, shoot, he told me the name of that break. I think it's Sur Surasak. Way off in the distance, you can see it. Um, that's more a professional break. In fact, I think GNS has a contest or they used to there and right over here We'll see if an airplane takes off uh, This isn't this is my bad phone camera, but you can see an airplane if if you can see it way up in the distance on, on the taxiway That's airports. It's a break. That's kind of far out there. It's not breaking right now He says you almost have to take a boat out there. He doesn't he says I don't want to pay the uh whatever it is 50 cents or i'm making it up whatever it is to boat out there so he just paddles out there but he's also looked to be about 18 years old and this kuda beach also has some uh, lifeguards standing by keeping an eye on things there are some flags on the beach i don't fully understand the flag system what compared to california where it's the uh don't swim here only surf here type flags from what i gather there's soft board and swimming areas and then hardboard areas but that's more a guess ask your rental person where to go and they'll uh, they'll set you up and i just kind of toweled off old school just a, a i carry like a small towel what are those not a full bath towel a, a hand towel <laughs> that's all i use that's all i really use ever i hate washing towels so I got like 10 hand towels and that's good enough for me. I know that's not going to cut it with uh, many ladies hair and all that kind of thing, but it's, it's good for me. And here's the Kuda Beach sign. Paradise. But I'm sure you can grab a shower for nothing. A dollar maybe, if that. And here's some different money exchange rates to the Indonesian, I think it's a rupiah, right? U.S. dollar is 14950 and my Thai bot 350 That's not bad. I uh, exchanged ah, maybe $20 of Thai bot at the airport, and I only got 300 to one. This is 350 and the best I saw was 390 
again, that's a small difference when the rupee is uh, almost 15,000 to one US dollar, but 390 is way better than 300. Of course, you're never gonna get the greatest rate at the airport. I just, uh, for the first time ever, like a dummy, I showed up with one ATM card, two credit cards in case I lost one or whatnot, but I have just never been let down by my Navy Credit Union uh, ATM card. It's a flat rate 1% ATM fee. I know the ATM machines, they don't give you the greatest rate, but it's better than nothing. And I usually only take 100 or $200 of local currency and the rest I just do on my uh, no foreign transaction fee credit card. The Chase Sapphire is my favorite. I put a link down in the video description. If you're in the U.S., you're looking for a good travel card, hey, take a look at that uh, Chase Sapphire. If it works for you, I'd appreciate you using my link and I get, I think, 15,000 Chase points. That helps me a lot. I love those Chase points, but only if the card's right for you. But this time, I must have been demagnetized Tried that ATM card in uh, four different ATM machines and no go. Called the bank and they told me the card is good. So I should have brought a backup ATM card, but luckily I had about $200 of Thai bot. And uh, so far I've only gone through about $100 or less. And the old credit cards worked for the, for the difference, but you're not gonna be able to use a credit card with these uh, guys renting surfboards at the beach or leaving small tips for the maid that kind of thing so always bring some cash and I'm gonna guess this delicious street food like this corn they're not gonna take uh, a credit card and I should experiment and see if my my Thai bank QR scan works over here I'm I'm not real good at all that I scan everything including Thai street food but that's in Thailand I'm not really sure how Bangkok Bank works abroad. I didn't ask. So I don't want to buy uh, whatever that is, a 25 cent ear of corn and pay a $5 Bangkok Bank fee. I doubt if it'd be anything that crazy, but I didn't even bring the card. And I tried one of these Vintang lemons. It says it's a beer, but it sure tastes more like lemon soda. It must be a very low alcohol content. Pretty refreshing. Yeah, I just looked at the pack. It said it's 2%. But uh, it's still pretty cool, nice and uh, cool. I want to say that Bali's a three-hour flight from Western Australia and Perth. I know my buddy Ben in Bangkok. He said he's been here 15 times, and all that, uh, all those folks I went diving with yesterday, they're from Perth, and it, it seems like they just run over here. Like in California, we run to Vegas, so uh, a nice, easy nice easy destination from at least Western Australia. I'm sure it's not that much further from Sydney, maybe out a couple hours, but I'm not positive Australia's a big place. And walking back to the hotel here in Kuta, it brings up a point using, using the credit cards, oftentimes the merchant will try to charge you the 3% that Visa is going to charge them. I don't have a real problem with that. Some people might, but that's just the price of doing business and uh, using the credit card. Again, I'll leave that up to you if, if you're going to have a problem. I've probably been hit up twice out of using my card 10 times. I don't believe the hotel or anything like that will do that. But oftentimes the merchants, I just went into one, it was like a liquor store, and I just wanted to get a bottle of water and some pineapple, and she said 100,000 uh, Indonesian minimum. That's the first I had heard of that, but... Yeah, whatever. They can set whatever rules they want. This Kuta Beach Hotel, it seems to be a decent place to stay and right 100 feet from the sand. I don't know anything about it, but do your research on that one if you want to uh, be surfing every day. And plenty of cool places to eat in the area and, and surf camps. You'll find them right on the beach, but a couple blocks from the beach as well. Here's the Naughty Duck. I think I was in there on my last trip. And plus, just like in uh, Thailand or many parts of the world, you can get your laundry done by the kilogram. I don't see a price list, but I'm sure it's super affordable. And the Hotel Lusa, it's also very close to the sand. Less than a five minute walk. Oh, they got a nice pool area. My dive instructor was telling me he loves this Kuta Beach area, but um, he says everybody's going up to the other areas. I, 
shoot, beginning with an S, where we dropped off the other folks last night. I'll, I'll put it up in the a title right now. But that area, he said, has become very popular with the Australians. And the other area, I want to say Chunga. I'm probably wrong on that. I'll put it up in the title as well. Is very popular with the Russian tourists. So everybody kind of picks their area. This I asked him, well, what's popular down here in Kuda anymore? And he says, eh, it's kind of in between. It's kind of like people that uh, have never been here. They know Kuda Beach is kind of famous, so they stay in this area. But um, he said, it's getting a little sketchier. And I'll have to agree with that. Even uh, making this walk I'm doing right now at night, you will. And I mentioned it in the other videos. I'm not putting the place down by any means, but... Every turn you come around, somebody's gonna try to sell you any kind of service you can imagine, and that doesn't go on up there in that other part of uh, Bali where the Australians are hanging out these days, from what he told me anyhow. But I'm, uh, I'm a rookie here. And the streets are sure tight in this area. I've said it before, but getting these uh, hotel and surf vans around, it's no joke. This is definitely uh, a place to use a motorbike. And there's the gas station. Here's the four points. They're offering a Christmas dinner, seven to 10, 350,000 per person buffet dinner. And I'm back at my hotel. That sounds like the uh, festivities are getting put together. Look at the fancy tables and all. Big Christmas party. Here's my swimming pool. I might just jump in there once I rinse this sand off of me. So thank you so much for following along this uh, Bali afternoon. I appreciate it. Hey, so that was a great time in the pool. I just ended up hanging out down here for three hours and uh, four beers. A couple of friends from Perth I met and my new friend C from uh, Perth, or, I'm sorry, from Sydney. The other guys were from Perth. Just hanging out in the pool in the uh, Bing Tang bar swim up, having a great time. I uh, talked to a couple of people who've been over here um, dozens of times so one guy said he's been here this is his go-to resort so yeah I know a lot of people I said early in the video maybe aren't coming over to Kuda but no these folks are like no this is our go-to spot we're hanging out and it's affordable nice pool fun times so I'm gonna go up and take a shower and then maybe head over to dinner I'm supposed to meet some friends. I told them I'd meet them at dinner, a Christmas Eve dinner earlier. But I think I'm going to eat dinner here at the hotel and just hang out with them for drinks. Because they wanted to go out later at, uh, I think they said 9. It's about 6 p.m. So I might head over to my hotel. Dinner. And then go from there. Here we'll take a right. Actually, you know what? Drop me here, I'll go to the mini market. Oh. Yeah, man. Hey, thanks, brother. You're welcome, Joe. This is good. All right, if I change my flight, we'll see you tomorrow. Which I probably will. Oh. Okay, Joe. Thanks, brother. Have a good Christmas, huh? Yeah. Thank you very much. You too. See ya. That's my hotel down the way. Here goes my brother. Huh? Now I'm going to go to the hotel. Yep. See ya. First I'm going to go to Circle K and uh, get something to drink with caffeine. I'm trying not to drink so much caffeine and sodas and all, but yeah, I need a little, uh, I need a little bit of energy that took it out of me. I haven't had anything to eat since uh, 10 o'clock last night. So I did okay. It's now about 1 in the afternoon. So thank you so much for following along this uh, Bali afternoon. I appreciate it. You have a great afternoon. Consider subscribing to the channel. I'll be back in Bangkok soon.
but running around uh, Southeast Asia, that's, that's what I'm doing these days. So take it easy.